guys, welcome to today's Life in London video. So, um, I'm just going to tell you guys a little bit about my day, which was crazy. <laughs> um, and tomorrow, I'm going to post pictures and video from my trip to Bath. Okay, so, like I said, today I went to Bath, and um, we had to leave really early because it's a pretty far drive. So... I had to be at my school at 8.30 in the morning, which means I had to get up at 6.45 so I could shower and have a quick breakfast or whatever and then walk there. So I got up and I was just like, Bruh. but it was okay because I was planning on sleeping on the bus on the way there and it was all good. So I get there at like 8.25 or something. So we're actually like early for once, which is surprising. Um, probably the earliest I've been for a Friday day trip in a while. But, um, we were expecting to leave at 8.30 because they emphasized how much we needed to be there to leave at 8.30. So, we were like, okay, like, let's go, it's 8.30. So then, someone told the bus driver the wrong time to be there or something. So, we were waiting around until, like, 9.00. And then we finally left, I think a little after 9, I didn't check, but I think it was. Um, so then we were like on our way, and I did get to sleep a little bit, which was good, um, because I was exhausted. So I just put on the tunes, took a little snooze, and everything was golden at that point. Um, so I think we got there around like 12-something-ish. Sorry. And uh, the first thing on our agenda was to visit the Roman baths. And I'm going to tell you guys more about this tomorrow when I show you the pictures. Let me just say I thoroughly enjoyed my visit. Um, it's a really nice museum. And it was gorgeous inside. Uh, so then, after that, grabbed a quick lunch. And then went on a walking tour. And then it was time to go at like 3.30. So, they had told us we're leaving at 3.30, and actually I think 3.15, we're leaving at 3.15, and we're planning on being back at school between 6 and 6.30, so I was like, okay, perfect, because I have practice at 7.30, so I'm going to have enough time to run home, like, grab my shoes, maybe have a quick bite, change, and go to practice on time guess what? <laughs> that didn't happen because there was so much traffic on the way home. I don't know what it was. A couple people said that there was an accident, but I think that was just speculation. I don't know if it was construction, accident, or just like rush hour. So yeah, we were stuck there for a long time. There were times where we didn't move at all for a long time <laughs> and I actually did sleep a little bit on the way back but then I woke up because I was like hey we're not moving anymore and I was like oh because we're stuck in traffic this sucks so I had to sit there and watch the clock and freak out like oh my god I'm gonna be late for practice and then I was like I'm gonna miss practice and it was scary and then I texted my partner, my ballroom partner. I was like, dude, I'm going to be late if not miss the whole thing. So then I was freaking out. And then they tell us, hey, the clock on the bus is an hour fast. So, yeah. And I was just like, oh, my God. But then they were like, okay, sorry about all the traffic. Like, there's nothing we can do about it. But we're going to be back around 7. So I was like, okay, this kind of sucks. But if we get back at 7... There's still a chance that I could hustle my bustle and get there at 7.30. So I was like, okay, this is fine. So then I was calm again. I was enjoying my music. And then started to get uh, pretty late. And it was approaching 7 o'clock. We were not anywhere near school. And then I was getting angry because people kept getting off the bus. They were like, oh, we're by this tube station. So, could we just get off here? And they were letting them get off. And it was like, 
I don't mean to be selfish, but they were being kind of selfish. Like, what happened to everyone being dropped off at school and then going our separate ways? Seriously. So, we finally got back at 7.30. And I was like, oh my god. I have practice at 7.30. So, I was like, there's no, there's like, obviously no way. We just got back and it's already 7.30. So, I was still going to go because... I have a competition next weekend, and my partner and I really need to practice, and I figured we would just stay late and practice after anyway, so I ran home really quick, grabbed my shoes, went to the bathroom, that was literally it, and ran out the door down to the tube station, so I got to practice around 8, which is what I was planning, like what I was striving for once I realized, hey, it's 7.30, So, um, the lesson actually ended up going well, so I was happy about that, even though I was late. And then after that, we stayed in practice for another hour, and, um, I'm pretty excited for next weekend, and I hope you guys are too, because I'll have lots of pictures and video. (laughs) So, get excited for that. And then, um, I got home around 10.30, I want to say, and then after that, I had a little dinner, as sad as that sounds, and then Skyped with mom and dad, and now I'm gonna Skype with Kristen soon, so looking forward to that, and I guess that's all for today, tomorrow I'll have pictures and video from Bath, so I hope you guys come back and watch that, and until next time, much love! (laughs)